Pop stars love the press when reviews are good, but let even the slightest critical reservation make it into print and a full-blown personality crisis can ensue. The fact that everyone's sort of treating you with kid gloves and it's like, oh, everything's going to be okay, you're a little artist. And then, you know, a critic turns around and is like, this record isn't uh, okay. It, and it just crushes the psyche of people because they're put in such a vulnerable position. Fuji's leader Wycliffe Jean, for example, allegedly threatened Blaze magazine editor Jesse Washington with a gun if he printed a bad album review. Personally, I feel like this is so he can do publicity to sell the new magazine. Wycliffe Jean pulls no gun. Washington didn't file charges against Wycliffe, but ex-Spin magazine editor Craig Marks, who was allegedly assaulted by Marilyn Manson over a Spin cover story, did. Manson fought back with a defamation countersuit. Then there was the case of Spin Magazine writer Mike Rubin and cartoonist Mark Dancy, who made the mistake of portraying Detroit's insane clown posse as a bunch of, well, clowns. They admitted, uh, in no uncertain terms, that they knew this was a shtick and they didn't have a lot of talent. Now here is the uh, bitter Mark Dancy the and the jealous Mike Rubin in a position of power. So the two of them sat down as our friends and did an interview with us. It was kind of surprising that they were so upset by the comic that appeared in Spin. But on the other hand, perhaps the comic would make them more upset because I'm not entirely sure that they can read. The beef I had with that article was that I knew what they were doing and they were going for the jugular. Actually, the gist of the Spin attack was that the clowns were ripping off black culture. Well, I'm standing here with duct tape around my fist and a painted juggalo face and how I'm ripping off black culture, I'll never understand. We never said in the piece that they were racist. We connected them to a long history of white performers uh, borrowing from black traditions. The clowns retaliated by telling their fans to hunt down cartoonist Dancy. We went on the website and we said, those guys are punks, blah, 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 and of course all the juggalos, they're like soldiers, they don't play, you know what I mean? Mark was accosted on the street. Spin began getting besieged by phone calls. A lot of times when people read something, they think it, they take it as fact, you know what I mean? And little do they know that in reality, it was two assholes in their opinion on something. They can be entitled to disagree with our opinions and, and not like the piece, um, but they have no right to, to challenge our safety. A luckier sort of